Good morning, family and friends. This is your girl, Charlene, back with another video to inspire you, to encourage you to live your best life with God. Glory be to God. He gave us another 24 hours, another day to get it right. And I am grateful because God didn't have to give me another chance. I could have died in my sleep. I could have died this weekend. But glory be to God, I'm still here and you're still here. All right, come to y'all with a message. I don't know who this is for. But the message of the day is, it's time to wake up. Did you hear what I said? It's time to wake up. Are you sleepwalking? Are you walking with your eyes closed? Are you paying attention to what's going on in this world? It breaks my heart to see some of the things that going on in this world, to see how some of them some of uh, God's people are living it really breaks my heart because God gave us a good brain God has been good to us and we don't have to live in misery we don't have to be depressed we don't have to be living below our standards but at some point we got to change we got to wake up we got to do what thus says the lord if we want what the lord has for us too many of us are walking around here doing the same things over and over and over and wondering why they're not making any progress why you're not seeing any fruit in your life why things are always falling apart. If you want what God has for you, you've got to change. You've got to wake up. You gotta quit walking around here sleepwalking. We walking around here sleep. God gave us a brain. He made us the most intelligent thing of this earth. We are his greatest creation yet we walk around here just dumb just stuck on stupid just we walk around like we don't have a brain the animals act smarter than us nowadays and it's time for change you've got to wake up time is running out you're not getting no younger you getting older aren't you tired of making the same mistakes over and over don't you want something better for your life it's time it's time to change it's time to quit making the same mistakes over and over it's okay we all make mistakes but I don't want to keep making the same mistakes over and over again. I ask the Lord, touch my mind, touch my heart. Help me to use the brain that you gave me. And that's what you have to do. Because you're smart, you're intelligent, but you got to use it you can't be out here doing all this foolish stuff and think that you're going to get the right results it doesn't work like that if you want the good things or if you want the things that god has for you you've got to wake up and use the brain the good lord gave you uh for half of my life um well, like I said, I told you I didn't grow up in church. So half of my life, I didn't have a relationship with God. I didn't know God. Um, and after September 11th, that scared me straight and I got saved. But I still continue to make the same foolish mistakes over and over. And at some point, I just got tired. I just got tired of continuing to go around the mountain over and over making the same mistakes i'm gonna always make mistakes and you're gonna always make mistakes but we shouldn't be making the same mistakes over and over again you 
got to wake up and do better if you want better. How many times do you have to keep making the same mistake? How many times do you have to keep bumping your head before you realize that this ain't working? Try something different. Try something new, but don't be stuck and making the same mistakes over and over and ask the lord for help he is willing and he wants to help you because it's obvious you don't know what you're doing with your life if you're making the same mistakes over and over if you're never getting anywhere so maybe it's time you start asking god to help you Maybe it's time that you start asking God to change you. And that's where I'm at. I'm in a change. I'm in a transformation. I'm trying not to do the foolish things that I used to do. I'm trying to use my brain. I'm trying to just be patient and wait upon the Lord. And if I could do it, you could do it. And when you do those things, the good things of life will come in your life you know sometimes i sit back and you know the little things that i see on the news and everything it blows my mind how we are as people can you imagine how god feels can you imagine how it hurts him to see his people suffering like this and they don't and they don't have to god is good and he has been good to us. But at some point, he's going to let you go through whatever you have to go through because of your mistakes, because of your bad decision. He is God is faithful and he wants to help you, but you got to help yourself. You got to quit making the same mistakes over and over. Come on, y'all. You're smart. You got a brain. Get what God has for you while you still have time. Quit falling for the devil's tricks and lies and schemes. At some point, get by yourself. Get with God. Spend some time with God so that he can help you make that change. So he can help you quit going around the mountain over and over. Do you know it took the Israelites in the wilderness 40 years to take uh, maybe like a two-week journey? Might have been a little less than that, but it shouldn't have took them long. But the reason it took them long is because the choices that they were making, they didn't want to listen. They kept doing things their own way. So when you do things your own way, you're going to keep going around the mountain over and over again. And I know that. I know that feeling. I have went around the mountain over and over when it comes to certain situations. But I'm trying to change. I'm asking the Lord to help me change. I don't want to keep doing foolish things that's not bringing me any good results. I want to do what thus says the Lord so I can have the best life that God has for me. And that's what you have to do. You have to get to a point you tired of you. You tired of making the same mistakes. You tired of not knowing which way to go. You got to get fed up and have had enough of you and start asking God for his help, for his guidance to just walk with you and just talk with you because God wants to, but you have to want it. God loves you and he wants to spend time with you, but you have to love him back and you have to want to spend time with him. And I promise you, if you love on the Lord, if you spend time with him, he will touch your mind. He will touch your heart so that you quit making the same mistakes over and over. So you quit going through the same drama over and over. I want a peaceful 
life. I like a drama-free life. I like a life filled of laughter and of fun. And I'm not going to let nothing or no one steal it. And that's where you have to get to a point where you just tired of making the same mistakes, tired of doing it the wrong way, and decide that you're going to do it the right way. Because you can. You're smart. You're intelligent, but you got to use that brain the Lord gave you. He gave it to you for a reason, so you got to use it. And I'll pray for you that you wake up, that you choose a different path, no matter what it is. We all wrestle with something. We all fall short. We all got issues and trials and tribulations. So you're not alone, but it's never too late to make a change. It's never too late to get up and go in a different direction. I don't care how old you are. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've been through. If you watching this video, if you have breath in your body, it ain't over. It's not too late to change. It's not too late to ask God for his help. It's not too late to get what God has for you. But you have to make the change and you have to quit doing the same foolish things over and over that you know are not going to bring you a good result. So I hope this message Bless someone, bless someone, touch someone, help you to wake up while you still have time. If you think this earth right here is crazy, you don't want to go to hell because this has nothing on hell. Hell is going to be probably a hundred times worse. So if you're about to lose your mind and can't uh, deal with what's going on here, you better give your life to Jesus Christ. Ask for him to be your Lord and Savior so you get to heaven. Because let me tell you, hell going to be a whole lot worse than what you see here. So I got my ticket to heaven. And just like God, I want each and every person to have their ticket to heaven. But it's your choice. You got a choice. Life or death. Heaven or hell. So come on, y'all. Quit making the same foolish decisions. Quit doing things your way. And it's time to do what thus says the Lord. I promise you, if you do what thus says the Lord, you'll have a better life. You'll have a more exciting life. You will have a more fulfilled life. You won't have to do the things that you used to do. You can do new stuff and still enjoy your life. I, Even though, you know, I love the Lord, I go to church, I still have fun. God don't tell you not to do these things because he don't want you to have fun. He wants you to have fun. He wants you to enjoy your life. But he also knows that making the choices that we make sometimes will not bring us the good things in life. So he tells you things so that you can enjoy life. So that you're not walk, walking around here mad, angry, depressed, ready to set it off up in here. You know, you will have peace. You will have joy. You will have, uh, you know, just a, a good day, a good mood. A, you know, you just won't be worried like you see other people doing. You just be chilling. And that's how I am. I just trust God. So I want you to trust God and I want you to get what God has for you and just start making changes. Little changes at a time will bring big changes in your life. So I hope this blessed you. I hope it encouraged you. If so, share it uh, with someone. Let's encourage each other. Let's just love on God today like he's loving on us. Uh, remember, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Charlene Sparks. Follow me on Instagram at one Charlene Sparks. And just have a blessed day because I'm going to have a blessed day. I'm trusting in God. I'm making better choices to bring better results in my life. And you have to do the same thing. 
All right, remember, do your best, pray about the rest. In whose name? In Jesus' name. In whose name? In Jesus' name. All right, y'all, let's get what God has for you. Make some better choices. Quit doing the same thing over and over. All right, love you. Have a blessed day. Bye.